various places we come from. The thing about Fife is that there's lots of places in Fife with uh, the kind of names that seem to give BBC announcers uh, nervous breakdowns like Cardenden and Balangrai. And, uh, one of these places is Cull Ross. <laughs> which is where Lindsay comes from, just for the benefit of any English people who might be in the audience. Some Andrews and stuff. No, no, we don't count Mike because he's, 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 he was here just long enough to be to, to catch the, the dreaded disease known as Fife. Uh, so he knows it's not curious. Uh, which reminds me that uh, I believe St Andrews won the University Challenge or something today, so that you know, must be a month or so or some. No? Oh. <laughs> anyway, Lindsay Fluffy is from the sunny seaside village or Paul Ross. <laughs> well, Jack actually said earlier on, would I play this tune? Did he mean it? Did he play it? <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, I suppose a better one is uh, my road manager. It's a long way back. Yeah, this, yeah. <laughs> this is a tune up. It's on the King Ross Volume 2. Ah! 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 Second time round, just when you think you're learning the chorus, it's different. <laughs> yeah, do I know? <laughs> <laughs> you never learn the bloody chorus. <laughs> Sick of the unsick auntie, evil gunsy brawl, lassie, see the cup 
Ko garmi kuzu, patol brūks un kal lasi, vēl bet ilbi kārti. Ja arī bet tokar nevis mā, bet kodn greilu vērtaro, ko sīvar savar māk jebro, o ilbi rakka ķeti. Gan ilbi nevi ilmasi, ko garmi kuzu, kal bedi un ilmasi, īvo vērti. Body bears and all some lassies fair and laddies bra, just like their mother aim and on your favor, he's consented. Can you marry me, you lassie? Not the cuckoo, but me goose. Tell the day and he lassie, he will never repent it. I'll hunt the otter and the brock, the heart, the hair, the heather cock. I'll do your lip and spread a rock to mark your dishes, dainty. Can you marry me, you lassie? Not the cuckoo, but me goose.
song is good. It's, it's almost a body ball of this, but it's, uh, it's actually a love song. So it's from that time and place, end of the last century, northeast. Uh, it's about the harvesting before the days of combine harvest, when it was all done by hand. And men and women, of course, uh, shared the toil and the pleasures as well, I suppose. Could you pay for songs like this? The summer days and heather bells come creeping down yon hill and bells. Still on key. Is it a whole party when the rest don't come in?
which we thought was a bit too small to build. Take it away, Michael. <laughs> Sorry, the third one came from Jimmy Hutchison, the fourth one came from my mother-in-law, the next one was for uh, Jimmy and Beth, and the last one was for a guy in Denver called Tommy Bonner. I like to say that because it's sure as fate there'll be somebody in the audience that will say, I know where you got that bloody song from. Uh, <clears throat> so here goes. <laughs> Oh, here's to the old grey to that unfairland. It's the place where I was born, where we used to play the truant for the skill in the morning, and gone home where I saw it torn. We run the pit and creep, cross for them Kearney Hill, ducking in the water down the old lime kilns. Now here's to the old grey to that unfairland. It's the place where I was born. You are belong to Kelty. <laughs> They're all Kelty too. It's a hell for the in the west of Fife. We'll get the world round. They come from near, they come from far. Her fit bought him to see. And when Kelty North End get twelve points on a Saturday, Kelty belongs to me. You can not borrow my kettle, my kettle. You can not borrow my kettle again. The last time you had it, you bugger, you broke it. You can not borrow my kettle again. Maggie Murphy sells fish. 
Trotten sat me a dish, then he buy them, then he buy them, first he dips them in a full of dirty water. <laughs> See the money when he scatter, some are big and some are fatter, in a full of dirty water. <laughs> oh, the broom goes broken, it need no the corn. The broom goes broken, it need no the corn. Oh, the broom goes broken, it need no the corn. If she does need to tell the day, she'll eat it all the more. He's done now, the bits are done now, my good. Now Mary had her iron coo, she milked it with a spanner. The milk come out in shelly tins and we yins for a tanner. <laughs> oh, Mary had a wristlet watch, she swallowed it one day. She took a dose of Epsom salts to pass the time away. <laughs> the Epsom salts refused to work, the time refused to pass. So if you want to know the time, just look up Mary's telephone number. <laughs> a man lay down in a sewer one day, and in the sewer he died. The verdict at the inquest was a case of sewer sight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they all great. To Northern Fairland, it's the place where I was born, where we used to play the truant for the skill in the morning, and gone home where breaks a hot door. We run the pit and creep, cross Ford and Kearney Hill, looking in the water down the old line comes. Oh, here's to the old great to Northern Fairland. It's the place where about five, six of us were born. <laughs> Didn't say no, so <laughs> magic fingers from the back. Mike, what did you do? What? Yeah, so? Cool. Yeah, it's a big moment. This is what you, you can do. You never know what's happening this jolly band, you know. Right this then. This is Mike O'Connor, all the way from the Lena, is it? Yeah. In Yorkshire. Your sunny North Anadon, which yes. has had more snow than Fife in the last couple of months. Terrible place it is, I wish I'd stayed here. The next day, thing is all yours. <laughs> Strathclyde the real, um, Earl Grey. And the Waverley Ball, which is a new hook, it's a four-part reel, and it's, I, th I think it's a dance and nothing to do with Mr. Waverley. So. <laughs> It's all a big facade, really. Just to make sure I get the fiddle out of tune so I can't blame it on their playing when it goes wrong. <laughs> oh, well, what's the name of that one?
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gary used to know uh, said to finish off this wee blemish with the uh, <laughs> oh, right. first a uh, couple of tunes. First one we used to call uh, the fifty first pile living crossing the line. So we discovered it was actually a lucky was welcome to Glasgow. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> well, that's not much so it's uh, well, he was welcome to Glasgow after crossing the line or something. Uh, however, uh, there's no dispute about the second one, which is called the Jig of Swords. Or uh, if we played it in the second half, it would be the Jig of Swords. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you. 
a tune called the Blackbird song. One called the the ash plant, and the other one called the boy with the log.
that next when all lay in their bed. I sleep it soon, but Annie, for love suppressed her tender breast, thinking of Andrew Lamy. All love's come down by my bedside, and love's lay down beside me. Love so possessed my tender breast, and love will waste my body. For the last time me and my love met, says he to me, my Annie, oh it's time and gang to Embraton, but I'll soon win back to Fivey. Second verse. <laughs> <laughs> but Fivey he read to the mill. Well, if it tipped his Annie, saying what ails he, Bonnie Annie, just done that wrong again. <laughs> oh, it's for my true love, I'm Mundee. I have saw for Andrew Lammy. Oh, tifty tifty, he consent. And let your daughter marry. It'll be to you no a higher degree. And the trumpeter of Fivey. And she had been born of Richard Kin, as she is rich in beauty. Oh, I would have taken the last myself, and have met her, my lady. Oh, fight his land stretch far and wide. And they are wondrous bonny, but I wouldn't have paired with my home true love for all the lands in Fivey. Had this a favour struck her doom, and likewise did her mother. Her sisters all they did her scorn, <coughs> oh, but we be to her brother. For her brother struck her wondrous sword With cruel strokes and money He broke her back against the high hall door All for loving Andrew Lammy Home there the mother's sisters all Why so cruel to your Annie? My heart was broke at first by love, but my brother broke my body. So mother, mother, mac my bed, and turn my face to Phoebe. There I can lie and thus might die, for the love of Andrew Lamy. She takes another ten verses to die. <laughs> true, true traditional banner, banner. Ah, hmm, yeah. Chorus song. I haven't heard any of you singing tonight, yeah? I have a chorus song. Do something. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's um, an old Jeannie Robertson song, Twilight Group and Saturn. If you don't know the chorus, you'll pick it up as you go along. Far recruiting surgeons can be the black watch To bear kids and bear some recruits taught to catch And all that they listed was for the war Oh, listen, my bonny laddie, I come along Gibraltar to France and Spain, with a film 
the car of slave we fasten by. We are the good for all of us.
Shepherds, and it's from the south of England from about the mid 19th century when money was very short and jobs were hard to come by. This is about the shepherds breaking. Shepherds to do. The fields they are light out. 
start off with a kind of stress <laughs> tune. Uh, it is a stress tune. Well, well. <laughs> called The Smiths, The Gallant Fireman. Uh, followed by a Maria. Maria. Called uh, Small Cold for Nailers. Smiths, The Gallant Fireman. Small Cold for Nailers. Oh, I forgot to uh, And then uh, a sort of Irish American version of Mrs. McLeod's Reel, which is a Scottish tune. <laughs>
say a Irish tunes, which are first heard on a, no, what's name? An American record, an American record of the Berry Pickers at Blair Gary, believe it or not, playing these tunes around the campfire, I think it was one of the recordings Hamish Henderson made and just wrote it in an American record, so this always reminds me of that. Nothing to do with it, is it? Still, it goes in another few minutes. First tune's called The Blackthorn Sticks, second one's called The Rates of Cold Air, and the last one's called Drowsy Maggie. Yeah. Oh, probably the same place, Drowsy It's really a, a woman's song, so you've got to imagine a few things. Yeah. <laughs> well, not imagine them. No. <laughs> Oh, 
Totally different. <laughs> to I think they're polkas. First one, oh, I must tell you, we, 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 used call, we used to call this the Irish muck in a jar of desire, you know, it sounds a bit like it. And uh, Lindsay, who is our expert on these sort of matters, went off and said, it can't be called one, there must be a name for it. So he came back with this payout slip from Asda supermarket, you know. Now that may be that to you, but it's that to Lindsay, you know. So, uh, and on the back of it was written about oh, 22 years that we found for this tune. And the one we liked best was Julia Delaney. I later turned out that Julia Delaney is far better known than another tune, so it's all complicated, so. <laughs> Right, uh, <laughs> so the first tune we call Julie Delaney, and the second tune is the Fox Hunters jig. And everyone else calls it that as well. Yeah. <laughs> Just to be awkward.
to the first song again. The backward. Heritage.
Hello. Wait for it. The big hand comes for all you people who came along here. Big hand for yourselves. Uh, thanks for coming, Mike. Um, maybe it's tomorrow's Mike. Thank you for coming. More so for going, and we'll see you next week. Good night. Thank you.